Monroe, and I'm going over to Amoroso's Bakery here in High Point, North Carolina. We've been here, uh, well, in this location, been here about a year, but in the shop center um, almost three years. We do um, several different uh, flavors of brownies, but one of the biggest things around here is our strawberry red velvet cake, and somebody you know, said, well, can you make a brownie out of that? And, and it's, it's not anything new. Other bakeries may have it, but somebody wanted it, so we developed it. And it is one of our biggest sellers now. And it's, it's basically a, a red velvet brownie with cheesecake swirled through it. So it's very popular. Um, a couple of restaurants carry it for us, too. That's probably one of our most involved ones. Um, you got to make the, the red velvet brownie mix, which is basically chocolate with some um, red uh, food coloring and some other items that go in there but then you got to make the cheesecake part of it and, and swirl it in and bake it together. So it takes a little bit longer than a, than a normal brownie does, but um, we do it because it's, it's very popular. It's a different texture than the other brownies, and it's, even though it's chocolate, you don't taste the chocolate as much as you would, and it may be a mind thing because when you're eating a chocolate brownie, you know it's chocolate, you know, but the strawberry velvet is just a, a nice, dense, uh, chewy, red cake and, and, and people don't realize that it actually is chocolate but it, it's just it appeals and then you have the, 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 the flavor of the, the cheesecake in there which is just a vanilla cheesecake mixed in with it uh, it just seemed to appeal to a lot of people